Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. Okay, so you don't have to remove uh, the intake tube here to do your serpentine belt. It just makes it a lot easier to see, uh, especially for the video, you can see what we're doing. So we're gonna start by loosening this tensioner uh, and then which tensions the dry belt. So before removing your belt, there's usually a belt path diagram under the hood somewhere. Uh, this truck doesn't have it, but you can also uh, take note of it and draw your own on a piece of paper. So we're gonna take a 15 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. We're gonna put it on the tensioner. You can push it down to loosen it. You can pop the belt off. It's just gonna come right off. And you can slowly let the tensioner go back. That's about as far back as it's gonna go. Let's see if I can get it up over the hose here. pull the breaker bar off. All right, so this is the old belt here. It's pretty worn out. You can see it's getting glazed. Inside the ribs are pretty worn. It even had a little pinhole here. Right here, there's a little pinhole in it, so that's no good. This is the new belt from 1AAuto.com. You can see it's got the same amount of ribs. It's the same width. It's just brand new, and that's gonna fit great. It's a perfect match for in length to the old belt as well. Okay, now we're gonna install our serpentine dry belt. So we're gonna lay it down like that. We're gonna run it up around the, the uh, idler pulley, over the alternator, down around the power steering. goes up and over the water pump. It goes back, down around the crank pulley. Make sure it's sitting in all the pulleys as you go around them. See so it's sitting in all the pulleys. You can actually pull it tight a little bit. We're gonna take our breaker bar, slide breaker bar around the belt. Now I can push it down. Feed the belt over. Make sure it stays in the crank pulley. And get a little tricky. And kind of walk it over the pulley. Tension. This pulley's new. So it's not as stretched out as the old one, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get on. But just before you release it, make sure it's around all the pulleys and seated in the grooves. Once you're sure it's like that, just gently release the tensioner. You can see that's nice and tensioned up. And it's looped around all the pulleys. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.